Hey y'all, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a little mermaid drawing today <laughs> based on Il Moray and let's just get into it. So today I decided to draw this from out of my sketchbook. I've been doing a lot of sketches of mermaids but in my own style. I wanted to do a version of mermaids where it they're based off of different fish. Similar to how Ursula was in Ariel, like how she's an octopus, but she's also a female. Like, it was a cool idea, and I thought that people, sh I thought it would be cool to just do a whole maybe art book based off of that sort of idea, just making um, mermaids into based off of different sort of, sort of fishes. <laughs> Ooh, that was hard to say. Maybe I should try doing that again. Nah, I'm probably not. I don't even feel like cutting this out. <laughs> but yeah, I really wanted to do a lot of predatory sort of fish <laughs> because those are a lot of fun and they have uh, very distinctive looks if you haven't noticed, more than other fish. Like this one, Neil Moray, it has like all the SpongeBob colors and I didn't even notice that until later on. I was just like, yeah, this bright yellow and like the green was just like beautiful. So I was inspired to do this straight off the bat and just continued on. Sometimes you start a drawing and you're just not feeling it in the first place and you stop. But this one, I loved it from the beginning. I, I loved it in the sketching phase. I, I loved it all the way through. <laughs> and that is a lovely feeling. Anyways, you, you understand what I mean. <laughs> so these drawings, I, I want to put them all into a book. I some of them will be traditional art. I've done one that's going to be up maybe in the next week <laughs> of a shark mermaid. Mm, my take on it at least and it'll be actually traditional painting like I did that one in watercolor but that I'll save the explanation for that in that video. If you're interested I'll <laughs> just look out for it in the future okay. Back to this painting. <laughs> As said before, it reminded me of SpongeBob colors and I I just really enjoyed adding in the like peachy colors onto her face and the blue tones to around the edges just to make her seem like she's in water. I had never let me remind you that I had never really done many underwater scenes before paint in this one <laughs> so I was kind of nervous but also like gung-ho like let's just go for it I mean I got a pretty okay reference I love the scene that I'm referencing from I'll leave that reference in the description box because obviously it's not mine <laughs> I have not been swimming with eel eels and, and I never will be they're beautiful creatures in my opinion Beady eyes are scary, but yeah, they're still very pretty to me. And <laughs> I just really took inspiration from this image. So I didn't try to like match it exactly. If you have, if you're looking at all of these eels, like, <laughs> ooh, uh, they get better <laughs> later on. <laughs> later on, yeah. I actually focus on them a bit more and try to render out their faces a little bit better. But for now, they're just gonna look like little worms with mouths. <laughs> uh, but continuing on, I, I had to figure out how to make a composition without having to focus on several areas too hard. I'm the type that likes to over-render. I've said this before in other videos. I like to render things until it looks good. And I'm realizing that that's not necessarily necessary and it's actually a hindrance to some paintings. And not every part of the image needs so much detail. 
unless you're trying to do like a whole storyboard or something trying to explain a big scene in one image but I'm not <laughs> I just wanted to draw an eel moraiden <laughs> eel moraiden eel maiden okay yeah there you go eel maiden <laughs> and she's um just chilling and swimming and enjoying her friends <laughs> That's all I'm doing in this image, and I want to take an effort into making a background for this. Not super complex, but just enough so that she stands out and is the the main focal point <laughs> in this whole image. I was trying to figure out how to make yellow still look like yellow in water. <laughs> Which, thank goodness, Spongebob is still in existence on in memes and stuff like that because it was helpful to actually realize like they actually used color in a certain manner. Like they were thinking <laughs> as they were making the composition for each of those. Have you seen Spongebob? Like sometimes they have those really rendered drawings of really cringy moments <laughs> in their cartoons and I miss that. They should do that more often in cartoons these days. Tangent again. I'm so good at this. You see me? Oh, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. Let's go back to what I was saying before. I wanted to make the background simple but also present at the same time so I tried to stay with similar values and similar colors in the background but like be able to make maybe seaweed and some maybe some lighting up on the top so that it's obvious where her lighting is coming from so I just scribbled on some colors, like some blue colors over her skin. Um, eventually I put it on an overlay so that it would blend into the colors on her skin a bit better. And it made the ripples that come from the, the surface of the water. And it's it was a really cool effect. I really want to do those more often. The last things that I did was go into Photoshop and play around with the levels and some of the colors and just do some final editing on the faces of the eels as you can see here. Make them actually look a little more eely. Is that a word? I'm gonna make it a word. And I just played around with some of the uh, motion blur effects and just finished it off okay and here's the final piece thanks for letting me blab on here and talk about what my future plans are and look out for the book that I will be making out of all of my drawings for mermaid <laughs> Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!